hello everyone today we are going to implement this sniper rifle so here is the demonstration so when I look through the sniper I get this scope and as you can see here we have a clear zoom in effect um, all right so let's see how to do this as you can see here around the scope we have some blur uh, effect and yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support right so I have implemented this uh, sniper rifle so I follow the usual uh, procedure that I follow when I add a new weapon so it works fine without any issue mm. so but today I am going to uh, now I want to add a scope to this so when I aim with the sniper instead of see in this aiming the usual aiming system that i have i want to have the scope and i did not show the usual proce procedure of adding this uh, sniper rifle to the weapon system because i have shown that multiple times so i think you guys are now familiar with how do i add a new weapon so right here is the sniper rifle so the scope i'm going to add it as a widget so first yeah i have already imported this scope image so let's create a ui widget here it's an interface widget wdg sniper scope into this let's add that scope image I showed you uh, let's anchor this to the middle set the alignment to 5 by 5 position at 0 size what's the original size we have a square let's see yeah it is a square okay so then let's have Okay, mm, not centered. Right, uh, let's test this a little bit. Uh, let's go to Photoshop and create. I just need to figure out what's the ideal size that we need to have. Let me just create a screen ratio in the an image is the size of the screen right and drag and drop this is scope image and uh, right and here I mark the center now usually in the games we get a view somewhat similar to this Somewhat similar to this, I think. Yeah. So 
yeah here are some references so we get somewhere like that actually there are different designs but i'm gonna stick with this design okay so let me hide this background and save only this one we already have the sniper scope scope v2 all right now now let me import that i'm not going to use this one right here it is and let's use that okay this is better and i'll anchor this it like this okay all right now in the gun when we go to the aiming mode we should get the scope so uh, first let me open the gun blueprint uh, and also uh, to make it easier for me to test as the default weapon that i have i'll use sniper m82 okay now here if i go to the parent gun i have a let me close all this and freshly open yeah here uh, when i aim uh, do i have an event here uh, no but let me check uh, the right click aim function right toggle aim it is in the basic input input toggle aim so here yeah we have toggle we call toggle reticle so at the moment reticle is uh, in the heart i have defined it in the heart and we don't have any kind of uh, we don't really uh, call any function in the gun itself when we go to the aiming mode all we have is this toggle reticle function which I have defined in the HUD. Let me go to that. And here we have the reticle. So I think instead of the showing the reticle in the in the heart, it would be better if we can pass it, manage this inside the gun itself. So, in the BP gun, let's go to our BPI gun, blueprint interface, right, here I add a function, set vertical mode, and for the gun scope also, I'm gonna keep using this reticle. So as an input, I'm gonna give an integer. So I'll call it reticle mode. Oh wait, maybe we can just define this as an enumerator so that would be more clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am just making things too complicated, but let's see. Reticle mode. Right here, yeah. I'll add three status. Not enemy. aiming soft aiming and aiming these are the three modes the reticle can have here let's set reticle mode okay now in the bp gun i'll implement it did i compile this no Now on the interface, we should 
have here set radical mod let's implement this uh, so for the BP gun for the moment I don't need this I'll just leave the usual radical that I have and let's go to the end and go to here and implement set radical mode let's have a switch here and also uh, let's create widget I'll select sniper scope from auto variable I'll call it WDG scope before we go to this stage we need to have a widget the scope widget created so all right we can do something like this get this one it is valid we don't have to do anything if not we have to create the widget save it into a variable right and then if we are aiming let's get the widget scope at the waypoint if uh, before adding Let's check is in viewport. If it is true, we don't have to add again. If it is false, we have to add. And for these two, I'm gonna do remove from parent. right okay now in the player when I toggle in I'll also call mm -hmm. me get some space Open. This will give a reference to the active weapon that we have. Set radical mod. To aiming. Here, not aiming. Right, shall we test this now? Right, we get the radical. Oh, wait. Why? The middle of the radical is not actually in the middle. Yeah, problem is here. I had done a little error. So, yeah. Let me fix this quickly. and re-import oh it's still not right actually i had pressed the re-import before the saving of the new file is finished right now it's okay all right but now the problem is we don't need to see the character when we go into the score and also we need to see some blurred out 
uh, look around the scope uh, right how do we fix those issues first and also of course we need to be able to zoom in and zoom out so uh, let's look into that later first let, uh, let's solve the problem of seeing the character mesh okay so for that here in the CS soldier and character let's add the function oh, oh wait yeah I need toggle hidden state oh uh, wait can we just directly hide the character inside the weapon blueprint we can get a reference character we do have a reference to the character yeah here set hidden in the game maybe this would work let's try this right mm, that works so we don't need this part So to have a nicer transition I think it would be better if we have some fade in fade out effect right so here before we hide the character and before we add the reticle let's get camera get player controller and get camera manager fade start camera fade so from alpha 1 to 0 within 1 second so color black and let's to the fade let's have a delay of let's say yeah, 0.2 seconds would be enough and after the fade hmm, let's try okay that seems fine or we, if we want we can even slow down the fading two seconds okay that's good for now and what else For the zoom out part, do we need a fade? Right, now we need the blur around the uh, reticle. For that, we have this background blur component. Let me add it. like this and size uh, 
hundred. Okay, let's anchor it like this and set the blur strength to one or two. We can adjust that value. Right. And let me duplicate this. Control C, Control V. No. Control C, Control V. Right. And let's anchor it to the right side. Now we have the blurred uh, outside the reticle. We see a blur, but it's not enough. Let me select this to S five six. Ah, and also I'll put it. I'll put the image after this too, so I can see the image sharp. Great. is kind of acting weird why is that yeah it's okay all right now I can still see the reticle from the heart that's why i can see these two white lines why the character is acting weird right first uh, let's solve the problem of getting rid of that addition reticle that we have so for that so here uh, as i showed you before i'm i'm using this toggle reticle function in the heart so let me disconnect that and keep only set reticle mode and in the BP gun let me copy the same thing uh, wait. with the same thing but I'm not going to use everything there here let me paste and add uh, this I rename this one Yeah, instead of a vertical reticle I'll use yeah reticle should be fine yes I'll name it reticle and here I'll use reticle and 
and there let me replace this widget scope oh we can't yeah let's replace it with the reticle And we don't need to hide character here because it doesn't apply to usual guns. Now let me switch here. In the hard, in the begin play, I add. I have this toggle reticle, this one, I'll delete this, I don't need that part anymore, why am I not getting the reticle here? critical mode and also when we shoot the critical needs to expand and uh, oh, wait that's happening in this set accuracy yes let me delete that too And I'll add to the gun interface set accuracy. So this will expand and contract the critical accordingly. And we need a float here to set the accuracy. Float input, okay. reticle accuracy here we can use any reticle and then get the reference to the reticle set accuracy connect the parameter value And we have called set accuracy. Where? Is it in the gun? Oh, inside the gun, we already have this update critical function. So we don't need this set critical accuracy. Let me delete that. Sorry about that. Um, 
this one too so let me just copy this cut this and inside the update reticle we can call it yeah that's it now let's see See, the expansion of particle happens now okay and also we don't have that additional reticle image uh, over the, the scope this time and also we have one more issue in the bottom left corner we see this uh, uh, ammo count also blurred that's not desirable all right to fix that when we add it to the viewport here in the top drop down this is by default zero if i make it minus one it should work let's see all right now see the icon is clear right we have some issues in the gun that we need to fix uh, aiming system was crazy when I use in the reticle uh, when I use the, the sniper I need to look into that in a future episode okay but actually I found the reason that the aiming system goes haywire when I'm using uh, the sniper the reason is this under optimization here we have this option uh, always uh, by default uh, i had always tick force so if i use always tick force and refresh bones regard so this will regardless of whether the skeleton skeletal mesh is hidden or not uh, the animations will work properly so yeah and this is only for the player characters so it shouldn't be a problem for optimization wise so now it works without any issue see we don't have any problem now okay all right and before we stop one more thing let's change the let's add some zoom in effect uh, after all this is a sniper but i'm not going to dynamically change the zoom in effect and in the character interface i'll add a function set fov and as an input i'll get a float value fov and in the player i'll implement set fov here access the camera set field of view now in the gun m82 yeah set f -B. by default i think we have 90 so 90 and here let's say 50 get some zoom in effect but to uh, increase the effect I'll change this to 
Okay, so here I'm gonna stop this episode and later on I'm gonna define a way to kill this character, the NPC character, if I do a headshot in a single shot. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.